Hello and welcome to Two Indoor Gaming. We're back with Life in the Village Season 4. This is Episode 3. We're on Day 3. Just slept in the bed, get to the morning. I just cooked up that clam meat. That was enough to put me into uh, Level 5 of the experience, and which is just what we need to get into the Level Up mod. If you press your L key, you're going to get this screen first time. Uh, you can't use it until you hit level 5 then you get to choose a specialty and that will give you bonus XP as it says so if you choose mining you'll get bonus XP every time you mine ore or crafting or combat so you've got those options uh, to, to choose from so whichever you think you'll be doing the most over your play time uh, will be what you should put in Generally, I think at the end of the day, combat is what you're going to be using the most uh, over time. But, that being said, what you'll probably use most early on, so when you most want that XP coming through, is mining. Um, in my experience, unless you're a cavalier and love to go raiding dungeons straight away, and more power to you. Uh, but it's your, So it's your choice what you think you'll spend more time doing, depending on your play styles. So I'm, I, am, I tend to just choose mining because then early on I get a quick boost and I get to level up early. Why is that important? Well, now that I've chosen a specialty, when I press the L key, I get a totally different window. And it, you've got skills that you can put money into. Not money, levels into. Okay, mining, crafting and combat. So there's all perks and you can explore those. They're pretty simple. Uh, my favorite ones are stone cutting. So it's just quicker to get... Uh, your stone with or, or excavation that can be less important but depends if you're finessing or not um, so yeah there's flint harvesting okay that's not that exciting but it leads you to treasure hunting and that's the one I always want to get to early what treasure hunting does first thing I'll do is I'll purchase that flint harvesting so you click on it choose increase you haven't spent it yet. It says level spent 5, but notice down here it still says 5. I've not actually spent it until I click done. If I press escape and exit here, I will not have unlocked that perk. I will still have my 5 levels. So make sure you click done. Now I'm, my levels are down, back down to nothing. And I have level 1 of 10 Flint Harvest. That's unlocked treasure hunting. This is good. Random chance of doing up treasure from dirt. 5% chance of loot per level. It's expensive because it's a secondary skill. But you can get a lot of free materials. It will throw at you iron, gold, enchanted tools. Pretty much only stone level tools. But hey, it's still something. Uh, but you can also get diamonds just from digging dirt. Uh, the higher you get, the more stuff you get. You'll also get, oh my word, so many wooden bowls that uh, you could build an igloo out of them, I tell you. Uh, paintings galore. So you'll get a lot of trash. But you'll also get things like slime balls, which is helpful. So you don't have to go around finding slimes when you need them later. You can get them straight up from digging. And... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you get gunpowder sometimes, so it can be quite handy. I found it great for just stocking up some resources uh, that save you time and trouble later on. So, yeah, that's where I put my points in, but hey, you do you. You can put it into battle, increase your critical strikes, all of that stuff. You can, you can go wild with that. Now, what I want to do today is I'm going to go trade at the Millionaire Village. So I'm really trying to cover the basics of, of, of a lot of things. Uh, just get it out of the way so we can get into the meaty bits of the let's playing and building villages and whatnot. You may not realize this, uh, if you right click your crops, you will harvest them without breaking them. So you don't have to reseed it. And uh, if you if you point at them, you're, what, what am I looking at? Which is that thing up the top in the middle, will tell you what stage they're at. See how they just gave me wheat and... Um, does it look like a watermelon? But I don't have a watermelon, do I? Must be something else. Uh, there's a watermelon. It was just hiding under the next plant. Okay. So, yeah, that's good. That's obviously not ready. So keep that in mind. You do not have to break them and then replant them. Just right-click and you've got it in your inventory. Oh, one thing before I run over to Millionaire. This is very handy. All this uh, rotten flesh, you could eat it. Gross. Or you can cook it and turn it into leather. So you don't have to chop up the cows. 
Yeah, or if you can't find any cows, you don't have to worry about it. Ooh, isn't this pretty? So I was just checking from before. That looks nice. Uh, see, there you go. Shortcut to the leather. So in order to get that backpack, I only need four leather, and then I need some wool. So that's handy. And I've got all this different food to eat. Yay. Now, is that skeleton still hovering around? Good. I'm going to get him. Missed. <laughs> Wuss. Okay, so let's go back over to the Millionaire Village. Oh, poor horsies. Watch out for the... I'm take him out. I mean, when I see him, I'll take him out. So I cannot, cannot stand to hear them in pain. See, so I don't need to chop up these these cows. I can save them. I can pick up their poop, and um, that is useful later. <laughs> as odious is to just put a big pile of poo in my backpack. That's that's life for ya. It is going to be my mission now to get rid of these when I see them. Good defensive line, but yeah. So we'll head over here to Millionaire Village. Da, da, da. Now this has just recently been totally revamped. Byzantine is a total revamp to it. That's why my season three world crashed. It's because I had a Byzantine village and it disappeared. So here we go. Hello, how are you? So you can meet the people and you learn about the buildings and the more buildings you learn about the more that when it's your turn to build one uh, the more you'll know how to build well oh, this is cool oh gravel walls that doesn't seem clever okay so what you're looking for is there oh is he the boss yeah that's the boss uh, tells you your status I'm a stranger Ooh, because I haven't traded with them or done any of their little missions uh, I'm still a stranger so I've got to build that up by selling them stuff and buying stuff oh well, there's another Tectopia village so this particular seed um, there's three of them three of them within distance of spawn so wow they're having a party over there look at them all hanging out so if I just want to steal all their plaques I'm gonna have heaps but as far as I know uh, plaques will only work from the like in groups whichever village they're in I can sell it's not just the main cell area. Uh, often these uh, artisans will also be able to sell or markets, and you can buy different kinds of parts to pretty up your own villages, which is nice. Oh, I'm glitching there. Now, where's where's the central building? I guess ah, oh, here we are. You'll notice when you find this board with all the different options, that's where you're going to be able to do your main trading. You're going to have more options to buy and sell. So somebody's going to come over and it'll say selling to player. There we are. And you'll notice they've got some coins and a coin pouch. And so you right click on them and boom, you're going to get all the options of what they're willing to buy. Remember, not just their automatic sell list, but what you're carrying that they want. See, if I don't want this, this hoe, and seriously, I don't want this hoe, so there we go, take it, boop, and I've got some coin, woo, one whole coin, cashed up, I am cashed up, and so you can sell stuff to them, everything you sell gives you a reputation point, and as, as far as I understand, it's basically coin for coin, so I now have nine reputation points, and the higher you build that, uh, reputation points, the, the, more you'll have access to after a while you become like a favored trader and you can buy a plot of land and put your own house on it inside the village and it will be protected from them building over the top of it and a little more reputation and they'll build you a little house and you'll get to the point where they'll build you a huge house in their village and you get to the point where you'll be called a natural leader and then you can buy from them and it should be here this the wand of summoning once you've hit that look at that 8192 I'm basically gonna have to do transactions either buying or selling counts uh, for basically to the value of 8192 of these little uh, denia but I can give away goods if I'm happy with the amount of money I've got and that's a bit of way away because there's stuff I do want to buy uh, but when I'm happy I can if I give them stuff it gives you a bonus reputation okay so I think I'm pretty sure it's two for one so if you're happy to do that and just give your stuff away bonus 
for you now this is interesting this is well, here we are this is a good thing you can get rid of your cobblestone gravel they love this stuff for their building materials uh, and that can be a cheap way of getting money I mean it's, it, <laughs> it's only 64 you can cook it first and you'll double your money but it takes a while but quite frankly you can build that stuff up so much that it's worth it uh, also you can sell your clay that's good that's good value especially go out there with your ore excavator and dig a whole heap of it up and sell it all at once uh, and if you um, cook it it's worth less uh, uh, mm, 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 oh, or something uh, bricks are worth more so you work it out you can be a day trader <laughs> and, and and buy and sell and then you can also get stuff to decorate your own places up uh, paths and whatnot and these lovely things and some of those also once you purchase them it will tick a quest for you so that's the millionaire uh, trading system they disappear at 6 30 as soon as it hits night time they all go to bed they're done they're out of there Boom, forget it this is the um, info board and each of these gives you further information your village map which is also at the entry posts but this gives you the clues to what they're building and where they're going to build. Ooh, that looks different. Uh, and I'll give you, if you click to the next page, it'll give you some more information on that. You can go through that at leisure. You've got obviously what they will, who who will fight and how strong they are. Uh, everybody in the place. What they're working on at the moment. So, yep. And the list of what's coming up. So that's cool and when you uh, purchase a, a, a block or, or a building that will go into that list and uh, you'll be in the in the running <laughs> uh, until it's your turn to uh, there's more construction yes this is uh, what what kind of village it is so on and so forth oh somebody's taking damage farmers over here they're getting a bit that might be my fault if I'm too close. Anyway, village walls. Byzantine don't have walls. Uh, they, they want every civilization to have walls, and I'm worried that when they bring that in, it's going to break my save again. But <laughs> fingers crossed. Um, I guess can always just come straight back to this seed. Anyway, uh, they want all of them to have walls, but at the moment, it's only the Normans and the Indians. I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh, pyro zombies. Are attacking them that's going to be fun for them well, I think that village is going to be empty soon anyway and resources this is what they need if you you can help speed up their builds they will naturally go out and get these items where they can so they don't really need you to get things done but you can speed it up for them by selling them the items or giving them the items that they need so if I give them acacia wood they're going to immediately be able to build it this shows what they actually do have uh, and that means so, so if you are got a project in the list and you want to get it to it faster then just give them the materials they need they won't have to wait to to harvest them and you'll shortcut through for yourself uh, to get to your own particular build so you don't get any extra money for giving them what they need but you know it's it's been nice hey here you go shortcut for you my friend okay somebody coming in to get me I'm watching my little mini map yes so that's the deal with the millionaire villages all right get the right tool here all right Hey, get off the roof. Get off my lawn. The the millionaire um, citizens won't get attacked by your basic mobs, uh, but they will try and clear them out, particular mobs, but not all of them. It's a bit strange. Little tip, if you're caught a long way from home, it's night, you do not feel safe, and you found a millionaire village, you can, well, you could just hide and see the night out, or where are we? You can um, use their beds, even if they're occupied. <laughs> they don't mind sharing, and uh, sharing is caring. So, yeah, that's a good 
way to get out of a bind. Of course, now that's reset my spawn, and I want to get it back to my house, but that'll get you through safely, so keep that in mind. Some civilizations don't have beds. Uh, they just sleep on the ground. I think the Incas uh, is one, but most of them do have beds, so suss that out. It can really save it. And a uh, last thing I'll mention, you'll notice in my little chat uh, log down there, I'm getting a lot of Greek. It's literally Greek. Um, the more I trade with them, see how they're not attacking it and it's not attacking them? Um, but it will attack me. <laughs> and it's just hungry. I'm not sure what hungry does exactly, except maybe give them more. Oh yeah, that's the other item you get from, from Tidal Mobs. Experience. Bottle of Chanting. So your little bonus experience. Hey, I forgot about that. I knew there was one more that I was forgetting. There's probably another I'm also forgetting. Anyway, shoo. That's millionaire. That's level up. And a bunch of little other tips besides. And here we are with yet another Tech Toby Village. I'm going to be able to get sick with theft, I tell ya, when I want stuff for myself. It's everything here. Merchant's taking damage. Probably because he's walking over something. A reinforced skeleton. I was wondering why he wasn't dead yet. These are even harder than mighty ones, but at least they don't have a diamond sword to club you with. This is, I, I like the loot table change. It used to be you got no extra benefit from fighting these guys, just extra danger. But now that you actually get an extra boost, it gives you an incentive to take on the tougher mobs. Oops, somebody's taking damage from something. And there's that ghast here. Uh, from that one. <laughs> this is cool. Now I can show you the waystone, actually. This is funky. Um, so see, now I've got two options. I can change the order of them. Uh, but if I say, oh, I want to go to the other village. Bing, it's close enough. Bing, it's close enough that it didn't actually cost anything. It will tell you right next to it um, if there's a cost to it. But these ones are close enough that I can just zap between them. And it's all good. Let's go back. Because I didn't really check this out much yet. Have these guys got a proper town hall? Though again, I had the message. I saw the message about... Oh, this guy's town. So what is he doing? He must be walking over something gnarly. Alright. Must be walking over those. Here, I'll help you out. Ah. This one doesn't want to break. Houston, we have a problem. Okay, I'm glitching out now. That tends to be what happens when you break stuff and it doesn't break. It means my um, save is corrupted a bit and uh, I'll have to reboot. So that's a good a good place as any to uh, restart. Uh, oh, sorry, not restart. To end this episode, I'll see you next time on um, Life in the Village. Actually... Now, if you've not watched my series before, you'll know I tend to do this. I'll finish it, sign off an episode, then I'll go, well, actually, I forgot something, or there's something I wanted to add, or I just realized something, and so I'm just going to add an addendum. And uh, here's the addendum. Uh, the problem is not that I was glitching, though that is exactly what happens. Um, you'll try and break something, and it won't break, and then you say sort of mucked up. Because I, I just realized uh, my axe is broken. I've used it up. I used up its durability. Now, I could throw it away. It is pokey, after all. And I would throw it away, but I want to demonstrate something. Oh, stop walking on them. Uh, anyway. You do not have to throw away your tools. You notice it's broken, but it didn't disappear. That is because they are repairable. All you need to do is add back the whatever you use to craft it. Now, the thing is, it's not as efficient. I can make a whole new stone axe with th three cobblestone. But it will cost me four to fix it all the way back up. And not even then. See, it's not even totally full. So it's not efficient. The only reason you're going to be repairing simple tools like this is because uh, they've got the qualities that you like. Obviously, pokey is not a quality that I like. Uh, so I wouldn't normally repair that. I'd just make a new one and see if I could get some better qualities on it. There we go. That'll help you folk out. Oh, he's sad. So sad. Anyway, um, so that's a thing. 
and the other thing I wanted to show you is I noticed as I was logging out that over here is one of these storehouse store, store things and ooh, look at that look at that those emeralds that's what helps you start up your own bizzo not many though but yeah there's some emeralds in there so you look for that storehouse for stuff like that oh this is the town hall this one's got it activated so why didn't the nomad show up and there's your architect and your tradesman for helping you build stuff like I said I don't want to go with an existing village I want to craft my own Oh, this is handy. I'll take that. Now, because I've got mining on, if you looked at my, just have a, if you watch my level up bar, um, normally you'll get XP from smelting iron ore, but because I've got mining for extra XP, as I craft it, boom, I get a little XP boost. So anything that's considered an ore, coal, gold whatever all of that counts uh, to your XP boost that's why I like it because you're going to be doing that a lot early on and it gives you that boost early which means I can scale up even more oh yeah <laughs> it's not an iron pickaxe silly boy what a waste okay now I'll definitely sign off and see you next time you know what I like I definitely didn't sign off because there's one last thing <laughs> I just dozed and uh, see this this is the Byzantine um, post gate post it's telling you where the limits of their colony uh, village is and it's smack dab in the middle middle of this cave colonies village mm. so what's going to happen when the millionaire guys want to build here over the top of this storehouse well they're just going to build over the top of that storehouse they do not recognize the prior claims of vanilla villages so they will just or total it uh, as you can see already they're encroaching in remember how they needed some of the cedar wood well they've oh sorry acacia wood that will have made themselves a little um, what you call it place where you go trees arboretum a boring or something like that anyway they've made it anyways and uh, they've made it right here and the next thing they want to build they'll just build over the top of this and they build over the top of that so it is my duty to save this village from itself and totally plunder all of its goods and um, take them for myself <laughs> that's just pretty much because it's not going to stick around um, I've not seen yet what Tectopian villages do when they've when their builds are sabotage whether they'll automatically rebuild them or not so you could have a real sort of building war going on which could be interesting to see but um gee they're all mopey aren't they anyway see i just wanted to point that out there is a conflict that will cause issues and that's just the way it goes